Not all is what it seems in the county of Clearview, Mississippi. Some say it's a place of legends, others say it's horrors. All that is known is that it's the home of the Shadow Man. Jimmy and Boyd Raymond, the biggest dopes in the Deep South and loyal followers and muscle of the notorious criminal, Mama Raymond. Boyd, I've already told you there ain't no such thing as shadow creatures wandering around the swamp stealing evil folks' souls at night. Well, how do you explain it? Oh, I don't know. They just ain't no possible way there's a shadow creature wandering around Clearview Swamp. Now shut up and let's worry about the problem we got in the back of the truck. Should have been a little bit nicer to us, Raymond, sweetheart. Mama Raymond don't like no cop. How many cops we done buried out here, Jimmy? About seven or eight? Twelve, I think. About to be thirteen. <laughs> so you want to play like that? Boyd, take her out of the back of the truck and into the swamp so as I can shoot her. I want to shoot this one. You told me I could shoot this one. Boyd, take her to the swamps. Why don't you carry her? Uh, because I have the gun and I know how to shoot something and not miss. Fine. But I'm not carrying the shovels, you are. I'll get the daggum shovels. Like Mama said, when we're through with this, we can move back into the old Roseberry place. Don't nobody ever go over there anymore. And there's an old barn we can set our lab back up in. Mama always did have a great backup plan. Thank goodness for that. What is that? Probably just a deer or something. Yeah, a deer. A deer that sings.
Shelby, what happened? What happened? What? Oh, look, look, you're, you're okay. It's gonna be all right. Uh, look, we'll talk what about. Was, what was that thing? Let's not talk about that right now. Let's we'll talk about it on the way to the station. Come on, you're all right. What happened, Shelby? Did you see a man dressed in all black, carrying what seemed to be a lantern with a lady inside? <sighs> it's a shadow, man. I knew it. Look, I got something to show you when we get back to the station. Glad we could help you. Cheer up! Smith, get up on my desk, please. And would you give us a minute, okay? Yes, sir. Oh, you found her. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Shelby, the man you saw has been with us for decades and has influenced much of Clearview's history. To the outside world, he's nothing but a myth, a legend. But everyone here knows how real he is. According to the legend, he needs dark souls to feel the flames of that lantern of his. What for? You remember the lady you saw in the lantern, right? Yeah. He fills the lantern to keep her alive. You, me, and one of the officers are the only ones that ever seen her and live to tell about it. Who is she? Have you ever heard of the family feud between the Smiths and the Raymonds? No, sir. Those two families hated each other since the end of the Civil War, but it's mainly been name calling all the way up till 1924. At that time, the two families were led by Sheriff Ernest Smith and Paps Raymond. Ernest had two sons that were his deputies, the eldest, Edward, and the youngest, Elias. Paps had three kids, two sons, Eugene and Boots, and a daughter named Ginny. As the two families' hatred grew for one another, a secret relationship formed between Ginny and Elias. It was a well-kept secret until the mysterious death of Eugene dragged both families into a bloody shootout, leaving only Elias, Boots, and Ginny alive. Boots found out Elias and Ginny's secret, and dragged her to the Old Town Corral, where he challenged Elias to a duel. Elias, determined to say the only thing he had left to love, went to face Boots. Drop the rifle, Elias. I know that six gun around your waist. That ain't happening, Boots. You can try and shoot me, but I will kill you. And I've killed enough men today. So my brother, and my father, and my entire family, it's enough for you. Shit, Elias, he's going mad. Shut hey, up! Hey, This doesn't have anything to do with her, all right? It's between me and you. Let her go. I'm not letting her go until you tell me why you killed my brother. I didn't kill your brother. The hell you did! Then who did? I'm not at liberty to say. Well, if you know, then why don't you tell me who... If it was you, you killed him. Now, Boots, it didn't go down like that. Why did you do it? It's not what you think. So what was it then? What was the reason for you to kill your own flesh and blood. Hey, it's me you want dead, all right? He found out about us. He was gonna tell Papa. So you killed our brother for him, for a Smith. We loved you and we protected you. And this is how you repay us? 
Our brother is dead because of you, damn it! Boots, just put the gun down! I'm sorry. Boots. I was scared. So I ain't gonna cut it. Boots! See you in hell, Elias. Jimmy. Elias. What have we done? Shh, shh, shh. Save your strength. It's gonna be okay, all right? It's gonna be okay. Elias, you're a good man. Don't do it. Anything you'll regret over me. Well, Miss Raymond, you sure you want dear old Elias to do that for you? Easy there, son. That won't do much to me. Who are you? Well, I have many names, but none of that should concern you right now. Why are you here? That's the question, isn't it? Why am I here? I am here to do one of two things. A, take your lover's damn soul, and then you go on about the rest of your life and eventually make it to those pearly gates. Or B, and this is my personal favorite. We cut a deal, and your girl there is spared from fire and brimstone. Well, what do you say? A or B? how the deal works, son. You fill this lantern here with souls, while also fueling the fire that is Miss Raymond's life. You keep making these payments until Judgment Day. And then, and only then, will I return her soul to God above, filling my end of the bargain. Oh, and You'll need these, too. Fulfilling your end of the deal. And that's how the Shadow Man was created. Why does he stay here? 
Honestly, that's unknown. But the fault could lie with all the sheriffs in Clarvius history. Myself included. Because the things that we know that he can do, we have to keep him here. Why would you want that monster to stay in your county? Well, again, we thought of the things he could do and the fear he put in the Raymond's family. We thought it would be best just to keep him here and feed him. Feed him? Clearview hasn't had a criminal go to Angola in over 50 years because we just let the shadow man deal with them. What? Show me there are things I've done. Things I'm not proud of. Things I'm sure if you knew you would hate me for. But I've lost a wife and a kid because of the deals I've made with the Shadow Man. And I've done the things that I've done to protect the people of Clearview. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need time to think this through. Okay. Maybe in time you'll understand. For right now, would you let Aaron take you home? Smith? Yes, sir? Can you take Shelby home for me? I've got things I have to do. Thanks, Orin Order. Thank you for saving my little girl back there tonight. I wish I could tell her. I wish I could tell her everything. But I guess it's best she doesn't know what her old man has done. I guess if anyone knows anything about sacrificing everything to protect the ones they love, it'd be you, huh? If you don't mind me asking, is she worth it? I mean, is it worth to walk the earth for eternity reaping evil men's souls? Alright. I have four men waiting for you. 